All right, this is part three of interpreting and going through the list file, the Q analyses. And we stopped last at the distinguishing statements for factor one, and I pointed out because there's only two factors, right, those statements that distinguish factor one from factor two, right, the inverse is also true. Those same statements distinguish factor two from factor one, right? So our group met outside of class. So we see a little difference here in the group dynamics. Um, people in our group worked well together. You know, definitely here we have agree for factor one and disagree for factor two. Remember, factor two is the group that had a, a desire to go into bioinformatics, right? I learned much of what I needed from this class from lab. We have a three and a one. Not horribly different. We might actually see this in the consensus area, too. Here we have some ambivalence about the class about having a separate book. They don't feel very much one way or another for factor one, and they feel very strongly here in factor two, right? So they totally, let's see, they totally, they disagree, basically, that they should have a separate book. Here for statement 24, I feel that I could contribute to the development of the field of bioinformatics. We have a new, neutral stand here in factor one. And in four, we have a very strong plus four. So this is where we can see a little more about how the two factors are actually quite different. And here, same thing here. You notice that because it's for factor one, it's the, in the descending rank order for that factor. But here's a huge difference. I would be interested in enrolling in a graduate program in bioinformatics. Number one, disagree, right? Negative four, not like their desire at all. And here is factor two with a plus five. So here we can really see a little more about what's been written in the article, which is that factor one has overall a very positive experience in the class, but no interest in bioinformatics. And actually, the factor two people very interested in bioinformatics not quite maybe as excited about some of the things in the class, although certainly there are some consensus statements here. I haven't highlighted it yet, but we can highlight the consensus statements. So those that do not distinguish between any pair of factors, um, there's not many here, right? The instructors worked hard to help computer science students understand. We have a one and a two, so the difference is only one column difference. I learned much of what I needed from this class from the lecture. Both got a two. From the lab, a three and a one, right? Remember, number five was actually above here in the distinguishing statements. I would probably cross that out here because they're so, they're relatively close, right? They both have an agree. Uh, you know, I, I think that I would, if I was going to decide where that would belong, I think that's more of a consensus than it is a distinguishing statement. And so I go through here. My concept of bioinformatics has not changed much over time. They disagree with that, so that's very interesting too. And so, so here we have our consensus. We could go back to our article and again revisit what the grid positions look like, the most positive, the top six and the bottom six basically of the z-scores. And, and here it is for... Um, or sorry, that's for factor one, and this is for factor two. Okay. <clears throat> and then notice that I didn't include anything actually in this article about the distinguishing statements. There may have been a word limit or something, but that doesn't mean that I didn't use the distinguishing statements for my interpretations. So certainly there are some other possibilities as far as um, interpreting. Um, recently I presented this in Steve Brown's Q um, class during spring semester, and I actually used uh, word clouds to further delve into some of the interpretations of this particular study. So for instance, here is the... Um, Factor one view from 2006, the positive view of the course, but no interest in pursuing bioinformatics, just to give you an idea of what that might look like. 